Hello there, this is Andrew from No Code No Problem and we with our team help companies all over the world launch their ideas on no code tools, primarily Bubble, in a matter of a couple weeks. Check out our website and what we can build for you. So in this video I would like to share with you how to embed uh, video, YouTube videos into your Bubble application. So let's start from the simple example. Let's say you have a video and to start embedding it it's relatively simple. Just go to share, embed and copy paste this uh, iframe code into your uh, HTML element in your Bubble application uh, just right uh, here with ID. And it would work perfectly. You would have a uh, YouTube video embed in your Bubble application. I recommend you go check out the official Google documentation because here are lots of uh, parameters that you can customize with your uh, embed YouTube player like controls, uh, looping, uh, start and um, etc. So that was easy. Well, let's say you want to uh, customize uh, and embed different videos in your application. Uh, you can create a simple uh, flow where you would take a video ID and the YouTube video ID is this part uh, for the V param. Here, control C it, uh, and insert is uh, it as uh, a video ID uh, and uh, then put this video ID as a dynamic uh, property in your uh, embedded uh, iframe uh, code and it would also work uh, uh, fine. This is done in the second example here. Uh, however, it is not always possible uh, to have already video ID or if you are developing a customer facing application, that might be not the best idea to ask your users to uh, get this video ID because they might make a typo, can be confused or can uh, insert a, a wrong code. And uh, wouldn't it be just awesome if you could uh, just accept any YouTube video uh, link and uh, parse it automatically and turn it into the embed element. Uh, that's exactly what we do in this third example. And uh, one more important notice is that uh, YouTube actually has lots of different uh, types of links, uh, particular three most popular for video uh, uh, for videos. They can be this longer version, the shorter one, and the, the direct uh, embed one. And in this example, we will parse all of uh, them. Uh, for that, uh, first go to your Bubble application and install a toolbox plugin, a really useful uh, plugin. And we will need this uh, JavaScript to Bubble element uh, from this plugin. Uh, insert it on your page. Uh, I inserted it here. Uh, give it a unique name, for example, like uh, my link. Turn on this uh, checkboxes. We would need to later uh, get the value from it and set it to the uh, text. Now when I uh, hit the show button I would uh, trigger a run JavaScript event where I inserted a simple code that uh, takes my uh, link from the uh, input field, parses it with this uh, simple code. Uh, I'll attach it below in the uh, video that you might copy to use for your own um, website. It parses all three types of the videos uh, links that I uh, mentioned here. Uh, get the video ID and construct the embed uh, source URL uh, with this embed value for your HTML uh, iframe uh, element and returns it through the bubble fn call, then your unique uh, ID that you put it uh, uh, there. So basically this video ID becomes uh, uh, actually not video ID, but more like the uh, full embed URL to be later used as in previous example in your uh, iframe uh, code and it works uh, just like uh, here so that you can use a similar uh, code either uh, here or somewhere else in your uh, application to parse the any YouTube video ID and turn it into a nice embed player. Uh, a couple of uh, tips and tricks uh, for you later on when you work with uh, this uh, approach is to have customizable uh, to have unique uh, name or unique this suffix in your JavaScript to Bubble element in case if you are putting them inside the repeatable group because uh, each of this uh, element in the re in the um, repeating group needs to be uh, unique. So we would like to put here something like uh, cell ID or your things ID and then call it uh, again through this uh, thing ID here. Um, 
so that you get the, the correct value that you expect to get. And also another uh, tip is if you are working, if you would like to uh, process this uh, value that you get from this code later on, uh, you need to click this uh, checkbox uh, trigger event so that uh, you can then go and uh, use element uh, JavaScript to bubble event. This is this one and use here this uh, value that you would get. In our case, this value is uh, this uh, uh, link that we construct here with uh, by creating our YouTube link. Uh, because if you don't do that and try to use uh, this uh, value that you publish right here in the next action, it would not work because uh, uh, this code runs, runs asynchronously and immediately after uh, in the next action it would not yet have this uh, value. So that's it uh, for working with uh, embedded uh, videos in uh, Bubble. Hope you find it useful. Uh, like, share, comment uh, and uh, see you in the next videos. Take care.